This is the third version of a single number problem. Here uh, we have again a list of numbers and each number is occurring twice except two numbers. So if you look at this example, you see that one is here and one is also here. So exactly two times, not more, not less. Similarly, two is here and two is here. But these numbers three and five, they are occurring single times. That's why single number. So how we will find these two? So here we have to return a list of these two numbers. That is 3 and 5. Any order, it does not matter. You can return 5, 3 or 3, 5. Both are valid. So how we will do it? Just like our earlier versions of single number 1 and 2, we will need to make use of XOR in order to make it efficient. So what is the expected time complexity? Uh, expected it is to do it in O of n time. This is the time and space should be O of 1. So let's see how we can do it. First of all, we have to do XOR of everything. That's the first step. So what will happen when we do XOR of everything? Uh, let's denote these numbers by X and Y. These two numbers, there will be two numbers occurring one time. Others will be occurring two times. So when you take XOR of everything, this 1 and 1 will result in 0. If you take XOR of anything with itself, this is always 0. So this 1, 1 gets cancelled, that is they become 0. This 2, 2 becomes 0. So finally XOR of this entire thing is same as XOR of X, XOR Y, that is 3 XOR 5. This is the first step. Let's capture it in some variable, let's call it XY. So this XY, which is obtained by taking XOR of all the elements of this given vector or list, is the XOR of the two numbers which we are looking for. Now this XY will be some uh, number which will have some binary representation. L let's say some uh, not exact exactly 3 and 5 but let's take a gener general uh, byte representation. Let's say we have 10, 110, something like that. So let's say this is the XY. So this what denotes that uh, at this bit both uh, x and y had same bit that's why it's 0 because if we take 1 x or 1 it's 0 0 x or 0 is also 0 so if they are same it's x or is 0 so this denotes that at this least significant position their bits are same and uh, this denotes that at this position their bits were different one of them had 1 and the other one had 0 similarly at this so all the ones denote that at those positions the bits were different in these two x and y and zeros denote that at those positions the bits were same. So here we are looking for a way to differentiate them. How we to differentiate them so that we can find them out from this combined result. So we can take any of these bits. Let's say three of the bits were set that is set to one. If you can find any one that would be good enough for us. So there is a shortcut for finding the first or the last significant bit, last set bit and that is if we have a number n then take the and with negative of that. Then this, uh, this result will be just everything 0 and it will be 1. This one will remain and everything else will become 0. So this will be the result. How this happens? So if n is let's say 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, then minus 1 will be reverse all the bits. On the this side we have all zeros, so make them all ones. This gets flipped to 0, this gets flipped to 1, 0, 0, 1. So every bit is flipped, then you add 1 to it. So what this will do, if this is 0, it will become 1. But uh, here it's 0, so flipped 1 had 1, so when we add 1, it will become 0 and carry will be 1. So this carry is carried here and it becomes 1. And then if you take uh, everything else remains same 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 and so on. Now if you take the end of these two what will happen? It was just a reverse of this thing every bit were flipped. So this all will become 0. Only the last one will remain. And uh, you can see that this is the only bit that is 1 in both of these. So it remains 1. So this is a shortcut. If uh, you don't know the shortcut then, then also it's fine. Take this number 0 1 0 1 1 0 and you do AND with 1. 
if the last bit is uh, 1 then the result will be more than 0 otherwise it will be 0 so if it's 0 left shift 1 so this number will become 1 0 and everything else 0 again tick and now this time it's not 0 because this bit matches so tick this number that is everything 0 and this one is 1 0 which is what we were getting when we did uh, n and equal to minus n here so both are same thing it's only that it will be over one time here it will take o 32 times if so there are 32 bits in int so we will use this thing so what did we do first we did x y equal to x or of everything and that denoted x x or y then we found a number d which had everything set to 0 and only the last bit of this x y remaining everything else becomes 0 so what uh, this is the bit at which x and y differ in themselves so now what we will do let's take this same example 1 2 1 3 2 5 so now what we will do uh, we will again take the xor of all the numbers but this time we will divide it into two groups uh, in one group this bit is set so in this x y x x or y this bit was one that means x and y were differing at this bit of course there were other bits but we just need one so at this second bit x and y differ now we will group these into two groups these numbers uh, one of the groups will have this bit set to one other group will have this set to zero so for one let's write it here it's like this for two it's uh, zero zero one zero again we have one again we have three three it's zero zero one zero then we have two then we have five zero one zero one so what will be the grouping so this one had let's divide two groups one the second bit is zero and in the other one the second bit is one so where does one lie one lie here where does two lie two lie in this three lies in this and five lies here so clearly this x and y will lie differently because they differ at this bit so they will fall in different groups and if one is in this then both the ones have the same property there is no difference so what we will do again we will iterate through it and we will check if this bit is set or not so how, how we will check it so for n in nums let's call it nums we do n and d so if at second position this had a 0 then and will be 0 so if this is equal to 0 then uh, xor with first group so both groups are initialized to 0 this is the result which we will return here this result we are targeting to build initially it's 0 0 so if this bit, bit is not set or uh, what we do we do result 0 xor equal to n so we do this xor with result 0 else result 1 xor equal to n so all the ones will get xor uh, in this and similarly 5 also but 5 is occurring one time so this will denote 5 will remain here and here only 3 will remain because 2 is occurring two times let me write everything so 2 2 3 will lie here 1 1 5 will lie here so we did 1 x or 0 which is 1 then we did 1 x or 1 which is 0 next we did 5 x or 0 which is 5 so in this group 5 will remain similarly in second group we will take x or 2 times with 2 and 1 times with 3 so 3 will remain and we will return this result so let's write the code for this so let's take the xor of all the numbers so this xy now holds the xor of x and y now what we will do we take the and with negative of this so only this will remain this will become this number 
just the last bit will remain other everything else will become zero then we have to re return a vector of int and it has two values x and y so let's initialize them to zero and zero and again we do this loop And finally return the result so let's run this and it works so let's submit and the solution is accepted so it's o of n time and space we are just using this result which we have to return its size is 2 and some more variables so o of 1 now we will do it in java and python so no difference here it's just And this works the order does not matter here in fact we change the case in c this positive number denotes true here we had to explicitly add zero ideally this should have been not zero then our solution would match to c but that does not matter the order now we will do it in java so i think we did not submit this so let's submit and the java solution is accepted finally let's do it in python 3 And the Python solution is also accepted.